if you have a drink in the carrier and you go over a bump and it spills, then you might have a problem, especially if it's sticky. So um, what I had happening was, uh, see the temperature button on the left, the one on the right uh, is right here. Let me, um, let me put it back in real quick. So the temperature button on the right would only go up. It would not, it would not go down. So um, I've, I've dug into this. Uh, actually, I've, I've cleaned this before. I, I had another spill, which wasn't apparently as bad. And I just pulled the radio out to uh, whatever the PCM is, just to wipe around the edges and clean it up. This is a little bit more involved, uh, but it's really, it's really not too bad, assuming I get it back together and it works. So you open up this door and you pop the leather trim off, which is this piece. And um, you can see the type of connections it has there. You just gently pry it up and work around. This piece of rubber, I'm not sure I, I needed to take, uh, take that out, but that just, um, that, that sits below below this leather trim piece. Um, then the side, the side pieces, um, so, so this goes in like this. And again, you pop, start popping it out from the, uh, the rear part toward the back of the car and you can see the, the connections that are on there. So, and then once, once you um, pop it out, then it, you pull it towards you and then it comes out. So you do both sides of that, loosen uh, four, um, Torx T25 screws and the radio will just slip out. I was trying to get the radio all the way out, um, but I decided to see if I could get this module out without, without messing with the, I keep calling this a radio, the, the module. And uh, so you can see I have it tied up and I don't think you need to take that out. So you can leave that where it is, but get a, a rag or something uh, and, and put over your module before you get it out um, and you, like this. Oh, Starbucks double shot on there. So this is into the back of the module and there's a tab on the top and the bottom that you can you can get your hand in there most likely and grab both of them. And then there's also two other cables. Once you get that one, you can pull the module out and have access to this cable. This thing has a, a little handle connector on there that which presses it in. This other connector um, has a little tab on it uh, right there. So you push in push in that tab and this will pull off the back of the module. So let me show you the back of the module real quick. Um, so when, when you get this module out, so I've taken this apart, um, there's four screws on the back. Um, Right here, there's four of these little T6 torques. And so you get those four out. And then what happens is um, this separates. So here's the module face and this, the right temperature button that only goes up, it doesn't go down. Um, and so um, there's six uh, more screws. You can see the screws right there came out of this print, printed circuit board. Okay, so you gently take that off and then you see this rubber piece with um, and you can see the gunk that spilled right here so there's more more stuff actually this isn't causing me a problem it's the uh, it's the button right right here this the temperature let's see if I can get this up without with one hand and get it out of the way to show you the inside of this this is all right here we go now we're down to business here so this is the switch that I need to work with and here it is in temperature. See these little pads, there's one right there. So that'll actually come out. When you press the button, that actually, um, uh, that presses on this, which then, uh, you know, makes it engage, makes, makes the switch close. Here's the hot, hotter, uh, hotter, colder. Yeah, so only the hot work, the cold in. So this is the top side, and that, that's fine. So the bottom side is actually, uh, gooped in so this this will not move this little pad right here is right in the center of the screen right now So all I'm gonna do is pop that out and clean it 
and then hopefully uh, that button will work. And then there's also more goop in here that um, I'll clean that up maybe. Um, I don't know. Might try a uh, Q-tip or something like that. Okay, I just rinsed it off with some hot water. I'm just gonna show you how subtle the operation of this thing is. So I'm gonna click it up and see how that little pad moves up right there and push it back down one more time. Up, see it go up. Same thing in the back. Now the back one was just sort of glued in from the sugary mess. Let me see if I, there we go. It's just, so now, now it's loose and seems to work fine. So uh, cleaned up uh, the board just with a slight damp paper towel clean the goo off of that um, I'm gonna use the same towel to get that and then put it back together got the back back on the rubber piece and the printed circuit board and um, the six screws you can see right there and uh, the four outside ones uh, are or do not use these screws. They use the uh, ones that will attach the body. So then, oh, I wanted to show you the buttons also. So this is the one that would not go down, but listen to it. So it works very well now. Up and down, all the buttons work. Feel nice. So um, we'll just be very careful to engage this connector into here. And then we'll screw it together and insert it back into the compartment. 